ようこそ Japanese Quest へ Welcome to Japanese Quest Rapid Fire Hello Good to see you、uh, By the way, Rapid Fire, I saw your stream, you were writing a book That was a cool stream、um, Be cool to see some more of that sometime、um, Welcome everyone to Japanese Quest Burb san, konnichiwa Uh, before we begin today, I want to look at something really quick. If you saw the Twitter or the Discord, you might have seen it.、Uh, but let's really quick, I'll just show you.、Um, ah, konbanwa. So I might not see chat for a little while because I'll be in the browser.、Uh, I played around with this、uh, thing in this past week.、Um, the top post on Reddit I thought was pretty interesting was about language. And it was about. Language and Google Sheets, which is kind of what we do. It showed how you can automatically make a list and translate it into languages using Google Translate. So I was thinking today we could maybe look at that a little bit for fun. So these are the words, the Japanese Quest words. I only went up to so far 200, but these are all just done automatically to show you an example. So, the word 201 was Sekai, world.、Uh, let's look at our power up level list, though, here. And for fun, we can add some more.、Uh, so, yeah, it's 201 because I also put the language on the first line.、Um, so, why don't we copy and paste some of these? Say, 100 more. Go up to Gambaru to persist, to try your best. Good word.、Uh, so let's copy and paste that. Hopefully, that copy and paste will work. Rapid fire, host, arigato. There, thank you very much for the host. So, the cool thing is when you set this up automatically, you can type it in like here equals Google Translate, then you can just click the field. You're taking the data from, putting the language codes, JA for Japanese, and then into English. Just use commas to do that. See, this is for ES, Spanish, FR, French, DE, German, ZH, Chinese. I'm actually not totally sure what version of Chinese that is. I don't know any Mandarin. But anyway, so then you have to, all you have to do is just pull this down. And Google Translate does all of it. And you can do multiple languages at once. Kakui ne. I was thinking it might be cool to add one more language. If anyone had a vote in chat, we could add one more language. I put this up in our lists, by the way. What do you think? What other language might, might we add? Ah, Konbanwa. Oagazaimas, Chabit Faisan. Jaster, Konnichiwa. So I want to see chat.、Uh, maybe I'll make this a little smaller for now so I can see more of the languages. So, what are you thinking? I'm thinking a language that we can read. So, what is a language we can read to some degree? So, either with Chinese characters or with Roman characters. Does Finnish. Have Roman characters? Is it readable to some degree? Okay, do you know the, the code for Finnish? We can try it. Let's go back in for fun. Okay, so let's make a new field. We can see how we do this, see if I can remember. So let's go back to the top. And let's add finish. Tell me if I'm spelling it wrong. Let's bold that. So we've got finish. And the way we do that, you could do equal sign. That is not an equal sign. Don't press shift. Equal sign. And then Google Translate. You can just click on it there. Okay. Then we can first click on. The source. So it's that one. A2 is the field. Do a comma. 
and then we can do quotation we're starting with ja japanese and ja is going to finish i want to say it's h i e r <laughs> wait h l let's try h l okay if it doesn't work it's fine we'll just see what happens all right so i seen comments someone said h l so that didn't work um I just want to put an FI. Is FI not finished? See, I played around with this before. You can look this stuff up. Is this Finnish? Yeah, Portuguese could be a good one. Or Dutch. Here we have Finnish. Is this Finnish? <laughs> Someone tell me this is Finnish. Anyway, whatever this is, I'm guessing it's Finnish. Let's hope it is. Now, we're translating from the Japanese. Check it out. Ninja is ninja in every language except for Chinese and Japanese where it's the kanji. Ninja. Uh, check out Samurai. Samurai in each one. Although I like the Japanese, or no, the French Samurai. Because it's a little bit different. It's got like the two dots. It's a famous movie by that name. And interesting, you can see the Chinese, in Japanese, that would be like bushi. It's like warrior. You can see the Chinese and the Japanese is often quite common. So let's see. Verb says it does look Finnish. Excellent. So we've got Finnish. And if you wanted to, you could just then do all of that. It takes a little while to load it, but... And now we've got Finnish. So this is our power level, all the words we've learned so far. People, if you want to take your power level in another direction, see they're kind of... There they go. You just know. So I think I was thinking just for fun, since it's so easy to auto-generate with this tool, we could put our power level list in multiple languages, possibly appeal to more people who might not know English. Anyway, kind of fun. I was thinking for fun, we could vote on a couple things in chat. Let's, uh, I kind of want to see chat on screen. So let's maybe go to our power level screen. All right. And let's see. The one, I was thinking we could vote on some words to think about what's the best word for that idea. The one we talked about in the tweet was the word for cat. Nikko in Japanese. So let's maybe do a vote. Let's look at the word for cat here. Get a bit bigger so we can all see it. Ooh, nice. Got a new nice word in Finnish as well. So which word do you think is the best word that most captures the spirit of cat? So in Japanese we have neko. And I'm going to say something that's wrong. Cat in English. Gato. In uh, Spanish, pardon my Japanese um, pronunciation. Chat in French. Don't know how to say this, but Katzi in German. Um, not sure how to say it in Chinese either, but the kanji you can see is the same. Uh, Kisa in Finnish. So which do you think for cat most captures this idea of cat? Catness. Which most... Which do you think most feels like the idea of cat? Um, you could write your vote in chat. I'm going to write my vote in chat too. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Nickel, gato, kisa, nickel, cat. It's hard. Nako, I feel like those first three for me, because they're maybe familiar, feel very strong. For French, did I say chat? Yeah, I don't even know that one. Or is it more like shop? Okay. Is it pronounced Mao in Chinese? Nice. So let's see. I'm looking at the vote. Someone says Nako. That's what Burt Reynolds says. Uh, Ruskative says Katsu. Anyway, so last chance. Here's the vote. Let's do it by numbers. So Ichiban is for Nako, Japanese. Niban. 
Cat, Thunbun. Number three is Gato, Chat, or however we say it in French, sorry, uh, is four, Goban, five, German, six, Chinese, it might be Mao, I've heard in chat, so let's write that. We're all learning to make our power level go up in other languages today as well. Uh, and then seven, Kisa. So let's do a vote with numbers. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi. So let's vote right now on which word most captures the idea of cat. Let's go. Okay, so I will do my vote. Uh, honestly, but it's not easy, but uh, cat. Cat. I'm visualizing it. Cat. Neko. I don't know. It's kind of silly, isn't it? Wow, we see th three for six. Eh, sugoi. So we're going... Ichi, ni, san. We have three for one. Ichi, ni, san. Uh, Commodore Bucket goes for Gobant, German. Nice. It looks like we may have a tie <laughs> between Chinese and Japanese. We're probably a bit biased here. I'm surprised Chinese even got close to Japanese. Yidisne! Okay, let's try one more. Let's try one more. So again, we have... Ooh, we can move this around. That kind of works. So let's move this around to a different word. Uh, let's see... Which is another word we should vote on? I'm thinking about the word for idiot. Might be nice. Or love, actually. How about both? Okay, some good words. So we have the word for fool. Baka. Uh, let's see, can I move this just exactly where we need it? There we go. Okay, so baka. We have baka, fool, right here. Um, we have fool, English. Idiota, Spanish. Cretan, ooh, I like that. French. Idiot, also in German, but I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Um, a word I don't know how to say in Chinese, but interesting, the kanji for white is there. And then Finnish. I'm going to say idioti, something along those lines. So let's again, this time let's vote for fool. What is the, let's capture the concept of fool right now. The concept of fool, vote now. Okay, this one I think I can vote for. I didn't vote last time, I wasn't sure, but it was too close for me. This time, I got it. Baka. Idiota. Ooh, that's good. Cretan. This is the kind of language play I feel like, I don't know. This is fun once in a while. So I like getting the, if, even if I don't understand these other languages, getting the feel of it is nice. All right, let's write the votes down. Um, before I look at the votes, I want to do my own vote. Baka. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with Spanish on this one. I'm going to go three. I'm just feeling it. All right, so let's see. We have, I'm not the only one for three, so we have at least... Interesting. We have three... Each Nisan, Chi, four votes for three. Uh, we have two votes for Nihongo, Baka. Uh, we have another vote for three. Sugoisne. Uh, what else do we have? We have one for two. Straight up fool. Fool is good. Uh, let's see, am I missing something? I think those are all our votes. Apparently, Burb says Chinese is Baichi. Nice. And uh, interesting, no votes beyond the first few. I thought we might get some for Cretan, because that was a good one. I kind of like the Finnish one, too. So it looks like for... Idiot. It looks like Idiota wins. Maybe let's bold these if they win. Just kind of for fun. So Idiota has gained the power 
of being the winner. And I think for Cat, it was both Chinese and Korean, so let's bold both of them. No, I want to say Chinese and Japanese. Okay, so those are bolded. Let's try another one. Let's try love. Or no, it's just like. Like. Like works. Like, love. It kind of means both in Japanese, right? So let's erase the votes. So this time the vote is for like or love. Skeet in Japanese. Like in English. Um, amor in Spanish. Amor in French. Is that probably a little different? Um, ooh, Liebe in German. And I'm saying it wrong. I apologize. So we have the kanji for I love in Chinese. And then interesting Finnish we have raucous. Okay, let's vote for this. So it's I in Japanese, thank or in uh, Nicholas, you had three as well. Good. It worked out. Okay, so let's vote again. For like, which is the best? So like, ski, amor, I. Ooh. This is a hard one. Okay, I'm not going to say my vote, but I'll put my vote down. Hmm. Okay, so the first vote was five for the German. So let's write our vote here. Uh, we also have two votes for four. A more. That's the French. Um, we have three votes then. Wow, coming out big for... Spanish. We have another one for four. That was me. We have another one for three. Wow, three and four is really strong for this one. Um, German is mo, moge. Ooh, it sounds, it sounds like Japanese. It's like your limit of moe, because gen means limit and moe means like cute. Okay, so yeah, Google could be wrong on that one. Sorry about that. This is all generated by uh, Google Translate. I certainly don't know German. So thank you for the comment there. Uh, okay, I think that is all the votes then. So I think that means the winner is French. So let's bold that. And that's the one I voted for. Oh no, the, never mind. No, the winner is Spanish. Again, Spanish is strong. Spain go ne. Um, what other word should we try? Let's try at least one more. Let's have votes for what word you want to do. Because this is actually more fun than I thought. Uh, what word do you want to try next? We have a lot of words. You guys have seen our words before. Let's bold. Amor has won the head-to-head -head between languages. Um, I liked the U personally, so that's why I went for French. I just liked the feel. I felt like it made it a bit more rich feeling. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I did it. Well, yatta can mean I did it. So it's, it's one way to translate it. All right, let's think about what's another concept that we just kind of need to know which is the best language for Because this was kind of the tweet today. We're going to vote on every idea that exists for humans and find out which language should best represent that. And then maybe we can make a language that's just the bolded words that would just confuse everyone. But it's like perfect, at least based on people's votes. All right, so let's try another concept we need. Let's see. Ooh, let's go with dream. This is a good idea. It's a very big idea in Japanese culture. There we go. So we have in Japanese, yume. In English, dream. In uh, Spanish, don't know how to say that N. I apologize. I don't know how to say the squiggly N. I know I should. It's pathetic, but um, I'm going to say, is it sonyar? Something like that. Um, French. Rive. I don't know. <laughs> um, German. Trom. Ooh, I like the one in uh, Chinese. It's similar to the kanji in Japanese, but kind of simplified. And then Finnish. Unelma. Ooh, that's cool too. 
Okay, so let's vote in chat. Now we're voting on Dream. You may. So I'll write you may before the vote. And now let's vote. One, two, three, four, five, or six. Which will be the winner for the concept of you met dream sonyar rive it's interesting sometimes if the word's less familiar the feeling of it i feel like can win votes just because it it feels kind of cooler in a way because it's not so clear um burb said seven what is seven i don't know what seven's voting for seven why seven what what are all these sevens i don't understand do we have another language in, in play? Uh, a seven is finish. Eh? Oh, there is a seventh. My bad. I forgot to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We didn't have enough numbers. I thought we had enough. Sumimasen, finish. Finish is beginning the... It's not fair for finish. Okay, so let's look at the votes. So we have one for finish. Let's write the votes up here. One for finish. Um, we have one for French. We have two then for English, the word dream. I quite like that word too. We have another for French. We have one for German. We have another for Finnish. Uh, we have another for German and we have another for French wow it looks like French wins this round or no that's not French is it I'm getting my languages mixed up no that's French right so how do we say that one I think Lieve won then let's bold that wow I thought for sure Yume would get one vote. Yume is a cool word. I didn't even vote. I, I think I might have gone for Yume, but I forgot to vote. Nice. So French has won for Dream. Interesting. Okay, let's go. Ooh, the first word we actually learned. The second word. Let's go to the second word we learned for Japanese Quest. Um, second word we learned from the game was adventure in Japanese, bolken. Um, so I don't want to cover them up, so we're just going to have to point to it. Let's make this one be the last one today. Unless people just really want to do one more. We could consider death and life. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's look at adventure. So for Japanese, we have bolken, adventure. English, adventure. Spanish, Aventura, French, Aventura, I, I have no idea how to say that, I apologize. German, Aventure, again, very embarrassing, I apologize. Um, similar to Boken, similar to the same thing as Japanese for Chinese. Um, and then Finnish, ooh, interesting. Sei Kailu, it's cool having Finnish here because it's so different from these three or these four, which are often similar for words like this. So let's vote on adventure. Adventure. I'll type adventure, and now we can vote for adventure. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Boken, Japanese, adventure, English. The rest of them I say is too badly, but you can see. Okay, we have one for Boken. We have one for the Finnish, Seikalu. Um, we have two more for Boken. We have Ruskative going for Adventure English. It is a good word. We have another one for English, Combo or Bucket. We have another for Finnish. <coughs> Those two cats I will take to be English. <laughs> Someone did two cats, Alina, Arigato. All right. So it looks like we might have a tie. Sentak, I'm not in love with any of them. Um, so I probably should break the tie, but... Hmm.
Yeah, I honestly want to go three. I like the Spanish. Anyone else have a vote? Because I messed it up by not being a tiebreak. Because I like the oh at the end. of Aventura. I feel like captures, I don't know, the feeling of an adventure for me, maybe. Okay, Jasters also goes for three, so... We have another for Spanish. Can anyone break this deadlock? Because we have three for Bulkan, Japanese, three for Adventure, and two for Finnish and Spanish. All right, we can have two winners again, maybe. Let's see. We can bold both. I suppose in a way it's fitting. Because that's kind of what this channel tries to do is an adventure bolded in Japanese, Bokken, and English adventure. All right, that's probably good enough for now. Let's go back into the game. Um, I did not vote, just a hello. Oh, okay, well, you did not vote. Okay, that changes everything then. That means Bokken won. Hadariku has summoned a dragon. It's a big dragon because we got a big screen right now. If anyone else wants to summon dragons with Amazon Prime or whatever else, now is the time to do that. To get the big dragon summoning. Subscriber, arigato, dragon. Tsuyoso. So I think that means that Adventure did not win. Bolken actually won. So let's unbold that. Having that dragon summoned actually makes me want to do one more. Yup, let's get the dragon hype in there. Welcome. All right. How about the word for... What else? To die. We got a lot of positive words like love, dream, adventure. Let's get the whole kind of range of the human experience. To die. So, shinu is the verb for to die in Japanese. You see that there. Uh, die in English. Spanish, morir. French, morir. Interesting, another extra U is the only difference. Sturben, German, and again, I don't know these languages, I'm saying it wrong. So we have just shi, the kanji for death. Same as Japanese for Chinese. Um, and then Kuola, Finnish. So vote one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What should be the word for death that truly captures the idea for death? Right, thanks, Ruskative. She, death. So, death. We're voting on death. Burb votes for five. Sturben, the German. Uh... We have a six vote for Xi in Chinese. Let's draw our votes here. So we have five, we have six, we have three and four. We have six, we have three and two. Uh, anyone who's played that new uh, samurai game, what's it called? Like, I don't know it, so it's called like Sekido or something. You might pick the Chinese one if you've been playing that game recently because you see that kanji again and again and again every time you die in the game. Uh, so where was it? We had two. We had five. Yeah, Sekiro. Okay, we need a tie break now because it looks like we're tied up. Exactly, Okamijin. Yeah, that's the other word you always see in the game when you, like, carry out killing someone. Yeah, that kanji is going to be well known from that game. That's one service that game is providing. Uh, let's see, though. We're tied up. So let's think. Uh, you know what? Maybe because I was watching a stream of that game in Japanese, it might have biased me a little bit. Um, so someone else is going for five. Ooh, interesting. The German, then. I was going to go for, I think, just the kanji. She, death. Um, so I'll go six. 
Anyone want to break that tie break? So we're three and three for Chinese and German on death. Chinese and German. Which of them will learn the, like, win for the word for death? Hmm. We'll close voting in five seconds. Five. Or else just do it in Japanese. Go. Yon. San. Ni. Ichi. Zero. Okay, we have both. And yeah, that kanji you see a lot indicating danger, we're saying in chat. Um, so let's bold both of those. And so we're doing death. We must do the next one too. Life. To live. Let's do that one as well. I'll just leave it where it is. But this time we're doing life. Let's look at life in each language. Ikiru. To live in Japanese. Live in English. Vivo in Spanish. And direct in French. Interesting. I thought it would be similar because I've heard like a similar word in French. But anyway, that's the way Google Translate did it. Um, live also in German. In uh, Chinese, I do not know how to say that word. And then, ooh, kind of cool word in Finnish. I don't know how to say it, but elevat, let's say. So let's vote for uh, life, which is the word that captures the whole, the feeling of life, the idea of life. Ikiru, Japanese, live, English, vivo, Spanish, and direct, French. Again, I was thinking like the word like joy de vie or whatever it is in, in French, like the kind of reason for living. So I was thinking a similar word for French, which I kind of like that word better. Um, so which word? We have a vote for three. Vivo for Spanish. I think that one might be a favorite for this one. One vote for Spanish. Uh, I'm gonna go... Right, so Berba, Berba is saying that, yeah, for French it should be vivre, V-I-V-R-E. So we have a vote for Finnish. Yeah, that's a cool word. I kind of am on board with the Finnish too. German should be Lieben. Sorry about the German. I don't know where they got that then. Maybe there's a weird correspondence between Japanese and German or something. Is that not a word in German? L-I-V-E. So we have a couple of votes for seven, it looks like. Finnish. A couple of votes for three. Vivo, Spanish. Ah, okay. So yeah, it's a mistranslation. That's okay. Kind of strange translation, though. Got it. Got it. Interesting. That's okay. That's kind of good. We can learn about, you know, the imperfections in this uh, obvious Google Translate automatic will not always be accurate. Um, but at the same time, there's different facets of the word live. So that's good to learn and think about as well. Yeah, I was kind of thinking French with the proper translation as well. So this one got a little bit messed up, but uh, but let's still see. I think the votes were two for Spanish. I think in its current form, I would vote Sp Spanish as well, just because French they messed up. But that's. Similar to the root used for the French, right? Right, I think I would go for that, for French, vivre. But I think Spanish won for this particular one, so let's bold that. And it's interesting that's a weird translation because ikiru does not generally mean live, I wouldn't think, in Japanese. It more means to live. It's kind of strange. Anyway, I think that's enough for this. Let's go into the game. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to look at this tool. Maybe we'll play 
around with it again someday. Sometimes it's fun to compare a lot of languages, even if you're not going to study that language seriously. Or maybe you you know a language. Using all of that as kind of a reference to fe kind of feel different shades of meaning, different shades of feeling. Even if it's imperfect, this automatic tool, I think, can be pretty useful in that sense. And see, the, what we're showing for anyone who just joined, Google can do all of this automatically. So if you have English here, you can automatically generate it if you pull it down from that word. And if you want to do more words, you can do all the languages at once. Just a cool tool to play around with, and we all have this linked in our words list at the bottom of the words list category. And who knows, we can add more languages to this someday and have some more boats someday. Check it out, boat. Boat is a powerful word. Very similar words in a lot of these. And then barkle. Wait, what? No, this, that must be messed up. Did I mess something up here? I changed these all to Spanish. What did I do? Let's see if I can fix that. Oh no, did I somehow change everything to the same language? What did I do? Oh no, they're all changed to English now? Eh? Anyway, it's a cool tool, but I think I'm seeing that there's some challenges with it now. Uh, so I think I'm going to the side, so that's maybe messing things up. Yeah. yeah, things are getting weird. Let's do some undos. Okay, let's go back here. Now, let's go to the game. Okay, thanks for everyone who uh, stuck around with that. That was a kind of different thing, just for fun. Um, it's a cool tool to play around with, clearly. Uh... Yeah, let's get into the game. Drag down, not across. Yeah, I will do that later. Um, fix it by dragging down from the lowest row. That is already correct. Yeah, I thought I was doing that, but then, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> let's get back into the game. But since everyone's posting about that, let's see. Can I do this successfully? Okay, this word looks right, right? I think they're different. Yes, yes. No, those are all yes, that's wrong. Wait, what did I, what? Why are they all saying yes? Are those all getting switched to Spanish for some reason? I think I messed up. Yes, so that's... I think I messed up below this point with something. Let's just delete that. Alright, let's see if we can... Do you have to do it one by one, or can you do it as a larger batch? Was that what was messing it up? Is it possible you have to do them one at a time? Is that possibly the problem? Yeah, it seems like you may have to do them one at a time. <laughs> Burb says, yeah, just don't worry about it. Please, you can highlight the road, drag them down. Don't worry, we will get in the game. Let's go. Okay, so we had th four scenes left in this game. Let's jump right in. Go bitto! Arigato! Thank you for the five bits. By the way, we are looking for words today. 
So the sound of an explosion. So someone is fighting. Uh, so this is the true form of the world tree. So just a reminder where we are. We finally reached the goal of this game, the world tree, the giant tree at the center of the world. Sekai, world, key, tree, put them together. Changes to Jew, Sekai Jew, the world tree. And then we are now seeing its true form. In the side, it's kind of a man-made. The last kanji means like form. Sugata. Sugata. So this is the true form of the world tree. So that is not a leaf. Is that some kind of a lettering? The last kanji, uh, we could power up, but I think we have that word. You could check on it, but I'm pretty sure we have it. So, but what Burb is referring to, anyone just joining us, our goal here is to power up as we find new words. You can use this emote. Um, if you subscribe to our channel to uh, remind us to power up, learn new words. The goal, of course, over 9,000. Let's find some new words today and power up. Yeah, it's a pretty common word, but we, we learned it pretty recently. Because even though it's common, it's one of those words you might not always focus on or think about. But it's true, it's a common word. Over there! Uh, so it's uh so it's Ida's battleship. So they still have that? Like a heavy battleship? So more importantly, what in the world is that? Let's break this down a little bit. So sore that and then soreori. So rather than that, more than that. Nanda. So what is that? So are, nanda, are. So are, that thing over there. Verb, thanks for checking, but yeah, I was pretty sure we had that one fairly recently. So this is the first time I've ever heard that uh, Arcadia can fly this high. So this is kind of an interesting word. Mimi means ear. And then Hatsu means first. So put them together. Hatsu Mimi means the first time you've heard something. So the first time I've heard Arcadia, their whole like continent can fly this high. Uh, Greg to be pro, no, the game you did not miss. We did some kind of interesting multi-language activities at the beginning. You can check it out later if you're into it. We have a list for it. If you want to check out our lists at the bottom, there's a new list, multi-language. But let's keep going because we did that for a while now. Let's find some words. Interesting. So anyone know what word this is right here? It's not normally that long. Zuto. Normally it would just be zuto. Which means like forever or really far. And how do you make it even feel farther? Draw it out like Torah did right here. Zuto. So where is the cloud sea? Unkai ga zuto shita. So it's very far down. In other words, we're very, very high. Okay. So yeah, somehow they're controlling the titan they're on. But yeah, how can they have that many weapons? Heiki weapon. So yeah, they have some serious weapons. So why do they have weapons like that? I guess that's a foolish question. So mon, for example, in shitsumon, for question. Um, and then gu means foolish. Put them together. Gumon, foolish question. Gumon. 
So yeah, we've uh, predicted this. Yosoku. Uh, Yosoku to uh, predict something, to forecast it. And then uh, means already have predicted that. So yeah, they want to stop um, Shin and Metsu from climbing the world tree. So do we. It's a phrase you see a lot in games and, uh, well, anime. You see it a lot as well. There's no mistaking it. That is what is happening. Let's hurry. So if we let them go to Rakuen, to paradise, something bad. Hi, Sugi. I'm guessing the last ones might be long, so good thing that one was shorter. We can actually get through this chapter today, hopefully. Despite our long intro voting on languages. <laughs> okay. Next game, Spence asks, Sugi no game wa nan desu ka? Ah, mara... Okay. Still not 100% sure, but there's a chance we'll play Final Fantasy VII. There's a chance we'll play Ace Attorney. Those are the two highest probabilities. Ace Attorney, yep, and FF7 Jost. They both came out on uh, Switch, so we may play them next. I have not played that series. I've heard it's quite good, though. Sui Koden. So, yeah, you can't control it. He's thinking about that other core crystal, the one for Mithra. Uh, so it looks like you were promoted to the, the kind of higher position. Alright, so what are you here for? Okay. So this is kind of a big moment in uh, the journey between this driver and this blade. Wakare. Parting. So I came to say goodbye, that I'm leaving. So i to say, kuru, kite, um, to come. So I came to say goodbye. If all of a sudden I just left, you'd be, you know, troubled, wouldn't you? Wakare? Wakare. Goodbye. So wakare really means like parting. So they'll no longer be together as driver and blade, at least not on the same titan. So what are you going to do away from me? You are my... So, me? Even if I'm by myself, I can use all of my power. Hitori, so by myself. Demo, even if, so even if I'm by myself. Subete no chikara, so all of my power. And what can he do with all his power? He can use it. Tsukaru. Able to use his power. 
so even if you die I will keep existing my existence continues so what are you gonna do so this holy city, Arcadia, the believers, they're all just foolish citizens. Um, yeah, all humans are just kind of useless, a waste. Yeah, a waste of this world. So I will carry out your wish, your ambition. So, Ganbo, ambition, and then Kanad to make true. So he's going to leave, but he's still going to, to carry out his ambition, which I guess is destroying the world. So that's not what I want. So pointless things, they might as well just disappear. A couple good words here. I think we may not have. Do we have this word? Muda. Let's look it up. So yeah, this is the word. For a Greg earlier, this is the list we were looking at. Multi-language power level. You can see our power level in a lot of different languages. But let's change that to our dictionary to look up this word. Let's see. Muda. So futility, waste, uselessness. Muda. Muda. All right. So uh, have we added that word yet? It's a common word, N3 word. We do have it. Okay, thanks for checking. But he's saying the useless things we uh we don't need. Ah, kieru we don't have. I know we have a word similar to that. Like kesu or something, but maybe not kieru. We could add that. Since we do want to make our power level go up today, at least once or twice, um, let's look at that word. Kieru, to go out, to vanish. Useful word, N5 word, so very useful. Kieru. Nice. Let's uh, copy that and add to our power level. Yeah, we certainly have that. Do we have nothing else with that kanji, really? Kind of surprises me. But let's uh, add that to our power level. So we copy and pasted that earlier. Let's uh, go down a bit faster. We have a lot of words here. Let's make our power level go up. Kiaru. To go out, to disappear. Any other words there? Nope, those other words we should pr pretty much have. Let's make our power level go up though. What does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is now 1,124. Um, yeah, good question. I'm not sure how to say your name, but uh, um, is it Lane 9 or Aihane 9? Um, are those the same meaning? Hitori and Hitori. Uh, yeah, I believe they pretty much are. When you're looking looking at the dictionary, they're the same. Um, they are. They have a different. They're used kind of in different contexts. Like, the second one is kind of the kanji for alone. It's also the kanji for Germany. Um, so I feel like it has more of a nuance of being alone. Whereas the other one has a nuance of being one person. But yeah, you see them in different contexts. Good questions. Cool, for, thanks for the comment. So we have Shometsu and we have Shokyo, but we don't have Kieru. Interesting. In that case, maybe we should add 
another form of that word. Another important form. So kieru intransitive means it just does not take an object kieru to disappear. But a kesu is transitive to erase something. For example, denki o kesu to turn off the power. So kesu again um, N5 word. Let's add that to our power level as well. Let's make our power level go up again. So now we have the power of not just disappearing, but also erasing things, which is good to have in a few different contexts. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? 1,125 is now our power level. Senhyaku niju go. Let's go back to the game. So, because of that, you are the greatest existence because you have that goal. You seek out God and you climb to the world tree. But even so. What the heck was that? He just moved his mouth but said nothing. I don't understand. That was weird. Marubeni, that he moved his mouth but nothing came out. Quite strange. I wonder if this like an animation. I don't know. Did I miss something? So there must be someone somewhere who can use this core. We know who. It's the main character of this game. It's us, Rex. So this core, there must be someone. Kono core, this core. Kono, this. Tsukaru able to use mono person. So there must be some person able to use this core. Dokoka ni iru hazu. So dokoka somewhere, iru exists. So he must exist somewhere. Someone who can use. This core. He or she must be somewhere. And maybe that person can stop Metsu. Just what he's implying there. Whoa. But it looks like he's now fully to the dark side, as you can see from this picture. Quite. Um, how long ago was that flashback? Uh, most likely around 500 years ago. I'm not totally sure on that, Greg, though. Other people in chat may know better. But it was, yeah, probably about 500 years ago because that's when he started taking over the world when he left Marubeni. Oh, no, so he I suppose it could have been a bit before that, though, because the other core crystal wasn't yet unlocked. So I'm not sure. So it's troops from Arcadia. So the Aegis and his and the driver of the Aegis, right? So you have an order from the Marubeni, this Pope guy. So right now, burn down that ship using the power of the Aegis. What's wrong? That's your role, isn't it? This is a word we've seen a lot in this game. People always wonder, what is their role? What is their purpose in the world? We learned this word the first time we played this game, so it's already part of our power level. Yakume, role. Omae no yakume. So it's your role. Isn't it? 
So now he's saying, no, this is my role. Ori no yakume wa. So as for my role, this is my role. So let's see the role. Um, Sekaiju e no michi o hiraku koto. So my role was to open up the path to the world tree. Sekaiju e no michi o hiraku koto da. Dekinu to yu no ka. Ah, uh, yeah, Burb mentions the kanji for to burn. Yeah, good kanji. We could add that, actually. Um, let's look at our words again for fun. Because I think we probably don't have these words. Could, you, could someone check if we have this kanji anywhere in our words? So, yaku, to burn. I feel like this is probably one we may not have. Because it often is used with cooking, and I kind of hate cooking, and I would stray from this word. I would normally not want to learn, learn this word. But, yaku, to burn, to grill, to heat. It's clearly a useful word. Yeah, I thought we probably don't have it. And you saw a different form of that in the game, but let's do the basic form here. Yaku. Let's add that to our power level. Nice. Back in the game. All right, in that case, we will uh, have you hand over the Aegis. Yeah, Greg, you are right. There are many words. That word is used in many things. There's one anime I like called Yakitate Japan about bread, bread making anime, comedy. It's very good. That kanji was part of that name. Like, I don't know, fresh baked bread or something. I think it would translate to. I see. Ah, uh, so they have this ulterior motive of uh, quickly cutting down the ship using the power of Hikari. Kind of cool word here. Let's look it up. It's a word that's not super common, but at the same time, you do see it a lot. You can see it's not marked as a common word, but it is an Wani Kani word. So, kontan, ulterior motive, plot, scheme. Since it's not common, I think we won't add it today, but uh, still good to be aware of. Uh, Burb says, someone introduced me to that one. Yeah, yeah, the bread anime. Yakitate Japan. Yeah, it is really good. I thought it was very weirdly good for what it was. I didn't see all of it, but I liked what I saw. So yeah, tell Marubeni I didn't say I can't do it. Marubeni Nitsairo! So, yeah, tell Marubeni, I will stop Shin. We will stop him. So, we don't have time for questions. If you're not going to follow along with us, we're going to take her by force. So, time for a battle. Don't think this battle is too hard in the game, I could be wrong. But we skip battles here. And I think this is the last scene of this chapter. Interesting. So it's about this guy, the true villain of this game, Marubeni. Yeah, Greg 2B Pro. Yeah, I recommend checking it out. It's a, it sounds weird, but it's kind of awesome. I think I saw at least like the first 20 episodes or so. Um, I don't know why, but I don't know. I can't really rank anime, but it's one of those ones that when I watched it, was just really fun. Um, honlai no chikara. Marubeni no honlai no chikara. So honlai, original, chikara, power. So this actually is the first word we ever learned from games. 
on Japanese Quest, Shikara Power. So his original power, I guess we will find it out in this final scene. So here we go. Time to save the world. Sekai Obstacle. So when you go back, you'll tell him, right? We will stop Shin. Uh-oh. Something weird. So they're just saying names, the names of their blades. So what? So something is doing something to my body. So this power, could it be? Okay, I will say one thing. Um, I kind of forgot. We have this new emote for learning sentences. We have not yet learned a sentence today. So in this scene, let's try to find a sentence. I did the emote there. It's the, uh, you can see it on the side. It's the, yeah, this could be a good one. Yeah, this could be a good one. Why don't we just add this one? So yeah, when we draw this, it means we can learn this sentence. So uh, yeah, if anyone's able to write this sentence, that emote there can be a reminder. Um, so this just means, very simply, don't think badly of me. We can break it down. So warui means bad. You can add ku to combine it with another verb there. So waruku. Waruku omoanai. So don't think badly of me. Omo is to think. So nai makes it negative. And then kure means please. So please don't think badly of me. The de is the te form combining it with please, kure. So waruku omonai de kure. So do not think badly of me. And check it out. He's doing like a super Obi-Wan Kenobi mode. We're like this tall. So if you think about the ratio, Marubeni here is making himself like, if this is say six feet, this would be six, 12, 18, 18, 30. This is like 40 foot tall, Marubeni. So it looks like a couple, several people wrote that there. Nicely done. Let's copy and paste that and add that to our, let's check if it's right. So Burb has it, Waruku. Nicely done. So let's copy and paste that, add that to our power level. I'll turn off Rikai so I don't mess up the copy paste. Add this to our sentence chronicle. Chotomatte. Gotta scroll down because we are at 273 sentences. Nice. Let's unlock that. Nicely done. And uh, let's note the time as well. Imananji. Kuji desu ne. It's about nine o'clock. Central time. Yosh. Back to the game. So if we find more sentences, we could find more, but let's especially focus today on words. I know it didn't change the power level, but let's make that go up higher today if we can. But at least we have one sentence today, and that was a good one. So this is kind of combined with the last sentence because node means because. So don't think badly of me because we have no time. Jikan, time, nai, don't have, jikan ga nai, we don't have time and then node because we don't have time. Ne, we don't have time, do we? No. 
マルベーニおうあれはオリジナあれはカスミのコアクリスタル It's a k a s u m i s Core Crystal. I think Haze is her name in、uh, Japanese. By the way, that's useful to know. If you know her name in Japanese and English, you also get to learn a word. Let's see, if we don't have this word yet, let's add this to our power level. I would think we probably have it from this game, but I'm not sure. Haze. Kasumi Haze. Especially in the spring.、Uh, so, the difference with this word and like a word like kiri, fog. So, this word also can be a different kind of particle. Like, it can be kind of sandy as well.、Um, whereas, kiri is just like water vapor type fog. I wanted to tweet about the different kinds of fog if you want to check that out. You can look deep into our tweets for Japanese Quest. We don't have it? Nice. I kind of thought we might not. So let's add that to our power level. We probably have fog. Kitty fog. Kasumi mist. Nice. So this is when knowing a name can help you learn a word. There's a, num there's a number of those. For example, if you, if you know the show Naruto, you can learn some words from that. For example, its last name. Uzumaki means whirlpool. And he's got those kind of whirlpools on his outfit and things. So, Naruto as well、um, can be a spiral whirlpool pattern. We have fog. Thanks, Greg. Let's go back to the game. And also, other characters from that show, too. A lot of those characters from that show can teach you words. One good thing about that show Itachi, Weasel. Kiba is a character in that show as well. Kiba, Tusk, Fang. What else? Can people give me more examples from that show? There must be more.、Um, Hinata. A sunny place in the sun. Kind of captures the spirit of those characters, right? You can see the way that mangaka named their characters. Um, I, one of my favorite characters is Shikamaru. I was just curious if there'd be anything, but there's nothing for that. Yeah, very true with the spiral motif for Guren l a g a n as well. And right, having the attack that's based on the spiral as well. Yosh. <laughs> So, so he has like half of her crystal, I guess? So, what is it, Nia? So, Marubeni, he stole her core crystal. So, this is her power. It's not just that. This is my original power. Really? Then why did you have to take her crystal? Just to amplify it, maybe? So I guess maybe he had powers in the first place to kind of control blades. Maybe this takes it to the next level. I don't I don't know all of the science of Xenoblade. So that's the name of this scene, his original power. But the Ethan are earrings and crystals. 
Ah, her device. Stop! No! Ah, uh, Gurren Logan, you're checking up. Yeah, La Sen means spiral. Do they call it La Zen in Gurren Logan? Really? That's weird, because La Sen by itself means spiral and gone. Yeah, it can mean like hitting something, so I think that's what it means for Naruto. My Poké says, I think Haze's crystals just stun them. Ah, okay. Shikari! Shikari! From the device, could it be the Aegis? Yeah. Bullhawk says his crystals explain more in Torna. Ah, yeah, we should play. We should probably play that sometime too. You mean the ex expansion? Ah, from like the word for face, you're saying, verb, gone men. Chigona. Said no, it's it's different. And who? Marubeni. It's Marubeni. Marubeni. So he is my driver. I'm also an Aegis. I know driver. So no chikara o zoufuku sureba blade dage jane. So if you uh, magnify that power, not just blades, he can even take control. Of Hikari. Hmm, this is getting interesting. The Master Blade, the Aegis. That driver is the Master Driver. So I have the power to control all blades. All the blades in the world. Do you understand? So even titans I can put under my control. So even these giant continents Arusu in Japanese. So even Arusu, I can control. So Bohawk says, right, you can nullify a blade's power, similar to that cave. Yeah, we called it the Cave of Wonders on this stream, but yeah, I know what you mean. So the attack from before, and even us, he can take control of, maybe. So don't worry. Kind of like super simple sentences like this. Shimpai, worry. Shimpai suru. Like to worry makes it into a verb. And then na makes it a command to not do that. Shimpai suru na. Don't worry. Ah, I'm on it. Konnichiwa. Good to see you. Hey guys, check out Amane's stream. We hosted Amane the other day, Japanese streamer learning English. So good place to check out, to hear a lot of Japanese as well. Good to see you. Yeah, so you guys who are mixed, you will not... They're mixed human and blade. They will not be controlled. Amane, you're good. Good to hear, I'm also good. And I see you've learned uh, the way you responded, I'm good, sounded quite natural. Rather than some people might say, I'm fine, and you? Not quite as natural. So I'm good, looks good. A Bohawk is here, Yokoso. Japanese Questway. Welcome to Bohawk. So they just can like maybe 
take away a bit of your power. So Burb says, I've been meaning to catch your stream more. She always streams at like 2 a.m. for me. Uh, it's a, there's a chance we'll stream earlier um, this next week. So keep a lookout for some earlier streams at times. So that's why they made or using these uh, other flying around things here. This is the Star Wars section of this game. Star Wars and a lot more wings than Star Wars, though. Although I guess they have X wings and Y wings. There's a lot of wings as well. The wings are shinier in this one. So those things that were built by Sata, they will not be controlled. And this ship as well. So we're almost up to the kind of border level. Shinmetsu, get ready. Let's go. So I leave the rest to you. <laughs> so if you if you meet God, tell him this. Thank you for giving birth to me. Again, we see the kure that we saw before. So umu is to birth. Unde kurete. So thank you for giving birth to me. Arigato. Thank you. <laughs> kind of funny little winks to each other there. The last time they might ever see each other. It's that little moment. One thing I like about this game, you do get a... The characters feel a bit more alive than some games. You have these little human moments between them, even if they're not human. Ah, their ship stopped. Oh, they want to go in from... from down there. So we will stop Shin. So please stop. So what you're saying is just makes no sense. Right now we can wipe them out. So we just learned the word kesu today to erase. So keshisare is combining two verbs into this compound verb here. Let's look it up for fun factor. Since we did learn that other word today. Keshisaru, to get rid of. So saru by itself means to leave, to go away. So to erase and to go away. Put those two together to get rid of. You can see it still says to erase, which is kind of the same meaning. But this gives more of a sense of getting rid of something forever. Bit more final, bit more serious. So all I'm doing is doing what you should be doing. So what we should be doing is not just erasing, eliminating Shin, Shin and the others. It's stopping them. Tomeru to stop. You really think that I'll listen to you? I do think so. I heard from Shin what happened 500 years ago. The one who made Shin do that? Or made him do this? It was you. Wasn't it? Anta. You can see the point. 
あんたじゃない。It's you, wasn't it? ないのか私は神の言葉を代弁しただ。So all I did was speak for God. ならその神にも会って聞いてきた。Well, in that case, then I'll go and meet God. We can ask him. やる俺たちのことを。I just realized this game is very kind of Wizard, the, Wizard of Oz like. We're kind of we're going on this yellow brick road to find Oz, this mysterious wizard, and ask him about everything. I guess a lot of you know, quests are kind of like that. So that is my role. Again, we see this word, yakume. Watashi no yakume. So that is my role. Omae dewa nai. Not yours. Omae dewa nai! Ooh, you're. So you're resisting? Are you trying to deny me again? I'm not gonna let you do as you want. I'm Rex's blade. That's right, Rex, you are the, the driver of the Aegis. So, yeah, if he can do it, then you can do it too. Or there's no reason you couldn't do it. But I can do it as well? Kind of a nice sentence. I feel like this one can apply to language study as well. I always like to, to rest on those sentences. For me as well. I can do it. Dekiru. I can do it. Very nice verb. Can do. And then mo also. Ore ni mo. So for me as well. I can do it. Ore ni mo. In, ore ni mo. Dekiru. Nihongo demo. Ego demo. So, whether it's Japanese, English, I can do it as well. Uh, Awaken Infinity, konnichiwa. So, Greg has written the sentence. So, why don't we add that to our、uh, sentence chronicle? Since Greg did write it, we might as well add it to our chronicle for the rest of time. We can unlock the sentence in our mind that we also can do it, whatever that. Thing is, that we're trying to do. Ore ni mo dekiru. Good question, Commodore Bucket. Why ni mo, not just mo?、Um, so, mo means also.、Uh, so, ni mo, it also kind of means also, but it kind of gives a sense of. Connecting it to me. So for me, I can do it. So could you say, Ore mo dekiru? Yeah, you could say that. Ore ni mo dekiru.、Uh, but adding the ni just feels more common here,、It、gives you more of a sense of. I can do it as well. Kind of emphasizing it is my feeling. All right, so let's copy that, add that to our power level. Ore ni mo dekiru. And the time we'll note as well. Kujihan. So it's 9 30. Yosh. 
And we are back to the game. Let's unlock that, though. This is unlocking this sentence in our minds. We can do it as well. Yatta. Let's try to find one more word to add to our power level, because our power level needs to be uh, officially raised. Oh no, the kitty just kind of fell. Kitty, that's not good. Um, let me quick show the kitty. He might be embarrassed because he just fell, but look at the kitty. He's live. He just kind of fell trying to go up there and fell on the computer tower. That's not good. Daijoubu desu ka? Neko-chan. Daijoubu? Tabu. Daijoubu so desu. I think he is trying to join us for the journey, so sorry about that. The kitty just kind of fell there. We'll put it back on the loop. Kawaii-so. This is the problem with the standing desk. If I was still on the couch and I never had heard my hip streaming on the couch with the kitty on my lap, the kitty, since I'm at this desk, he, he fell. He never would have fell without the standing desk. I feel a bit of responsibility for that. So yeah, this power... Yeah, it depends on your heart, whoever's using the power. So he can do it too. Oh, really? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, cats always landing on their feet. I feel like they don't always, right? They usually. Do. Ah, my body's moving. If they don't have enough room to kind of readjust, they certainly don't land on their feet. Depends. I know because I just saw a cat fall and did not really totally land on his feet. It's okay. I won't let him do what he wants anymore. So with controlling people and blades, so what about that? It's doing what God wants. Yeah, Commodore, yeah, I agree with that. It has to do with... Right. If they have room, they will. Right. So wait. So we... We'll show you. We will stop, Shin. Shin So where are Shin? They have entered the world tree. So next, Metsu will activate. Ion, that must be like his Gundam. So now we just need to stop the others from following them, from going up. Then it'll be our, our victory. I see. So let's go. Star Wars section of the show. Hmm. Yeah. Did that do anything? Oh yeah, it did something. Reminds me of Star Wars missions in those old Star Wars games I used to play. Knock over this 
cylinder. Ooh, so there's a... That whirlpool of light. I guess one of them stopped. So one of those amplifier towers has been destroyed, so don't worry. So that's just shrunk our uh, area of influence just a little bit. Don't worry about it. Mm. It's already come close enough. So all troops, take the front line. So knock down all of those insects, flying insects. I'm not gonna let you go, not one of you. I will let get to God. Here we go, it's on now. Clash of the Titans. So another Titan now is in play. And they got a giant laser, very Final Fantasy VII. Ooh. The World Tree, that's the chapter. Sekaju is now under attack. Yatta, we have finally finished chapter eight. We have two chapters left. We will stop the stream there for today. The next chapter you can see, it's a useful word, Amen. You could uh, surmise that might kind of capture kind of an emotional meaning to it, Amen. So we'll stop it there for today. Like I said, we may have a stream in the next few days at an earlier time and if you want to see when that is you can turn on twitch notifications or join our discord there's a notification for that too if you want to if you want that just ping Akira sensei on the discord check out her twitter too so i will say ja, matane. see you guys next time let's host someone today who shall we host hmm Let's see. So Daikon is playing Mega Man 2. That sounds kind of cool. Why don't we house Daikon again today? Not sure if they're playing the Japanese game or the English, but they often do play Japanese games and they do know Japanese. Oh, Unboxious, John A. Good to see you, Unboxious. You should have seen the beginning of our stream. We had some crazy uh, multi-language action going on. Um, so we'll host Daikon from now. We'll continue the journey next time. Um, ja! Matane! See you guys next time. The adventure, Japanese quest, will continue. Missed everything but the last couple of minutes. Well, we can at least update you because our power level actually did go up. Let's see where our power level is. Uh, let's jump to our words quickly. We learned today just a few words. Kiaru to go out, kesu to erase, yaku to bake or to uh, cook or to burn, and then Kasumi, Mist Haze, also a name of the character in this show. So we also looked at, uh, we did a new list, a multi language. It's a multi-language power level sheet for Japanese Quest. Uh, you can see the languages at the top. We had some fun voting on which word in each language captures each idea. Uh, for example, see we have Japanese, English, Spanish, French, German, Chinese, Finnish was voted on for, to add today. We could add more later. This is all automatic with Google Translate using these commands, which I just learned about, which I thought was kind of cool. So I thought we might as well try this for fun we voted earlier at the beginning on cat which of these words most captures 
the idea of cat for some reason nickel and also chinese one maybe the kanji itself one we also did the word for idiot in this case spanish one idiota also spanish one for like amor um for adventure boken japanese one so we had some fun voting on some different words which word most captured the feeling of that word in that language that was the beginning of the stream anyway let's go back to the game and uh, let's go back to hosting daikon we will host someone and we'll see you next time on boxes i'll probably watch the vod later anyway yeah that was a good acquisition and we'll see you later on boxes ja matane we may stream again in the next few days at an earlier time, maybe at 5 central or so. Or earlier. Ciao, matane. See you later.